What's going on, everybody? It's your man Gavin Tr Turner right here, and I'm kicking it with my man Quadir, Quadir Sharif, and my man Rodney Jackson. We got a big movie coming out. Let, let the people know who we are. Tell, tell us about yourself. Tell the world about yourself. Uh, my name is Quadir Sharif, also known as Q. I'm originally from New Jersey. Okay. I started New Jersey as that. I've uh, been living down here in Atlanta for a good years now. Um, I love around here and um, just do a big thing. I don't know what else. All right. Okay. Rodney. Go ahead. <laughs> My name is Rodney Jackson, born in Baltimore, Maryland. And yes, sir, yes, sir. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it down here in Atlanta. And you know, land the opportunity, chocolate city. And um, I thought it was DC. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, I, I've, I've been to DC, okay? Yes, you know, but, but anyway. <laughs> but no, we, you know, I'm just, you know, happy to be in this business and. You know, it's, it's just been a tremendous blessing, especially considering where I was like two years ago. True, you know, true, so. true. Okay, um, Q, yes, sir. tell us a little about your background. How did you get gotten to the whole movie game? Man? Well, it all started uh, by uh, studying this martial art, which is Hapkido. Okay. It's a Korean martial art. Been taking it for almost. So you said Hapkido. Hapkido. So you just grab side for that. Ah. Okay. 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 Well, you know, as I started taking this martial art, you know, uh, I really got inspired uh, in, in 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 action movies. I started watching a lot of action movies, a lot of Steven Seagal, John Claude okay. Van Damme. And as I've been looking at it, I really got inspired to want to bring the '80s action type of you know movies back. Okay. And uh, I was like, I know this is something that I want to do. And as I uh, met this guy by the name of Toby Price, uh, shout All out right. to Toby, Sin City, ENT. Um, I had the opportunity to work with them on this project called Ruse. All right. And uh, as I worked with them on this project, I really got inspired to take this to the next level, and that's where I got inspired to write my own movie. Okay. One place, one time. All right. Okay, Rodney, tell us about yourself, man. Well, well, you know, my story is just, you know, tremendous. Um, roughly about <laughs> two, year, two years ago, I was jobless i was lost mentally wow. and i mean i did i didn't know where my direction was um i did i did i loved movies since i was you know very small i always loved acting right. and um i got my start acting doing boston theater okay. um children's theater up north and you know but life intervened and yeah. you know and then years later it's you know, I sort of found myself in this place where I didn't know what was going on. Right. And so um, I started working at Jump Shopping Network. And at the time, I met this guy. I was actually shopping around my kid, my, my kid Elijah Jackson. Okay. And he's a, you know, child actor. Right. And I was just trying to get him into the business. So I was talking to anybody I could talk to, right. you know, because that's just how the sort of person yeah, I am, yeah. you know. Um, and so I and I got introduced to him. Like, oh, this this guy, he got a movie. And yeah. I, yeah. look, look, I just went up to him. I'm like, you know, if you have, you have any anything, part, I remember anything that. Oh, I remember that. for my kid, and then you, yeah. and then yeah, and then all of a sudden it just came. Like, you know what? Yeah. You know, I want to I want to learn the process. Okay. I want to learn how to make movies. I want to learn how to tell stories. Okay. So if you had any job for me, right. I, you know, please let me know. And so what happened was, and then at the same time as that happened, I saw this bulletin on our job, on yeah. our job, on our job, and it was a, it was for a um, auditioning for you know another another movie. Okay. And I turned out that was um, Life in the Fast Lane that was okay. produced by. Um, um, Roman Hayes okay. and um, Tavares Wilson okay. wrote it and starred in it and yeah. starring in it, um, and so what happened was it was it was what last August right last yeah August this time August last August. year wow. and the same night the absolute same night I sat by Toby and um, and I, I told him I said yeah you know I'm I didn't know who he was and I was like. You know what? Good grief! I was supposed to send my headshots in for this audition. Yeah. You know, right. and Toby, he 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 says, "That's my audition right there." He's like, "Just just show up. You don't have to worry about sending wow. headshots, right?" right. 
And so I was already on cloud nine as is, right? right. And so then I go downstairs and you know he and you know he does security. So he was down there and he he I remember I remember this because I was signing out and he was like, Hey man, um, can I talk to you about something? Then he like, nah, forget about it. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, what? What's what's going on? You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, no, nah, he's like, I need a I need a um a camera guy for my, you know for my movie Monday and I was just wondering if you know you could do it. I was like, I'm there. Right. I'm there. Just and just like that. And from then on, you history. know, it, it it that was history. Yeah, history. And um, right. you know, I appreciate this guy so much. I tell him all the time. I said, you know, you saved my life because wow. I did not know my direction at all. And meeting this guy and just giving me, you know, the ability to express express myself creatively. Okay. You know, it, it, you know, because at first. You know, I started out as a camera guy, yeah. and then I, you know, slowly but surely, he got me directing scenes, and I didn't even know it. I was wow. just sort of, you know, the camera guy. I'm like, well, maybe if we can do, and pretty much, yeah. I, I, I just started direct. He's yeah. like, he was like, man, you're a director now. Wow. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm a director. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it, it was, it was, it was tremendous, and. It's just been a roller coaster ride from then on. Um, you know, my, my son is about to do big things. He's doing the TV pilot um, called Liaisons with um, Eve Carter. Shout out to Eve and Tara. And, um, you know, and I mean, it's just been it's just been remarkable. Like I said, you know, we're about we 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 got projects on tap for his co company. Okay. Um, I'm with Sin City Entertainment as well, okay. and you know, Life in the Fast Lane is about to come out. So okay. it's it you know, I'm saying to everybody out there, if you do have a dream, if you if you want to be in this business, there is a way in. I'm a kid. I'm from I'm from Park Heights in Baltimore. Okay. Anybody been to Park Heights know that you're not supposed to make it out off of Park Heights. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I, I did it, and I'm in this business, and it's it's just been remarkable. And you know, I want to thank this man personally because he had the faith, and plus he had the drive. Because a lot of people, they say they want to make a movie, okay. But it takes a real dude with drive and with heart to get out there and actually do it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Actually get off the couch right. and grab a camera, get a crew, and say, let's, let's make a movie. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so, wrong place, wrong time. Tell us just a little something, something cute about this movie, y'all. Shot here, this inspirational film, the movie that saved your life. <laughs> wrong place, wrong time. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, Wrong Place, Wrong Time is a action movie. Okay. It definitely has um, some real heart, you know, pain in it. But uh, it's basically about a guy who was a, a former U.S. Army Ranger. And he okay. basically, uh, you know, went through some things after his partner died. Wow. Got killed in the war. And then after that, he uh, runs into this girl by the name of Ashley Hills. Okay. You know, he met her at a, a local church. Right. in this area and uh, she hasn't really been knowing that much about him he's been you know hiding things you know keeping yeah. things away from her yeah but uh, his past she knew he had a past but he really didn't want her to know what he's been through because he didn't want her to really get involved with that until right. he's down the line okay but to cut the long story short um, he eventually tells us her what's going on then they go out of town and they run into some problems